Hey there, it's Casey Dimitak, SoulAcademy.com, and welcome to this week's question. This week's question comes to us from April. April says, do you always have to rehab your tax sale properties? I don't have any experience in that area. So the thought of doing a remodel scares me. Laugh out loud. Uh, April, fantastic question. And this is probably the largest misconception that everybody has about real estate investing. You absolutely, 100%, do not have to remodel homes in order to be a successful real estate investor. Maybe it is the TV shows or maybe it's the gurus online, but I can assure you that remodeling homes is not necessary. And I might do a more extended video on this at some point in the future, but obviously, you know, there are some benefits to doing rehabs, especially if you're planning on keeping that property to add to maybe a rental portfolio. But for the last decade now, I very rarely have remodel homes for resale. And when I say remodel, I'm talking about doing far more than a simple cleanup job. I'm talking about massive upgrades, large crews, and plenty of dollar signs. So early on in my career, I built lots and lots of homes. I did plenty of remodels. I've dealt with dozens of subcontractors, have lots of experience on the whole buy, remodel, resell thing. But if I'm honest, I would rather not remodel a house if I didn't have to, you know, sure, it makes for some cool pictures and videos on Instagram and that kind of thing, but I would rather not have to waste the time or the effort doing it. Let me give you a few reasons. The first one is that the large majority of my investments, I'll simply resell to other investors. I'll make my money and I move on to another property, oftentimes with just sending a few emails out sitting behind my laptop, which is very, very convenient. And then I let those investors deal with the properties. I think it's very important to know what you are good at. I'm good at finding deals and reselling those deals. So many investors chase everything possible. Any opportunity they see, they go after it to save a few bucks or to make a few bucks. I know that I am good at buying and selling tax defaulted real estate. That is my most valuable skill set. While I can certainly remodel homes, that's not at the top of my skill set list. My experience and my knowledge is best suited and most profitable doing the tax sale business, not doing major remodels. The second is that it takes up a lot of time, not just the actual time between the start and the finish of the remodel itself, but the actual time investment into that process. Even if you hire it out, most people will still either want or need to be involved in some aspect or another. First, the excess time that I have not dealing with remodels allows me to make more investments. It allows me to contribute to the success of other tax sell investors. And secondly, when I'm not doing either of those things, it allows me to do the stuff like traveling, spending time with my family and other things that I love. And I'd rather do that than be stuck at a construction site all day. The next reason is that the money versus return equation isn't always as favorable as many people initially think it is. And it becomes even more skewed as you factor the time equation in, of course. Now, if you've never done a remodel before, I would highly suggest that you take a step back and start pricing some materials and labor, especially right now. And yes, you are going to come across some hidden fun expenses that you didn't account for, and you'll likely go over budget. At least most people do on nearly all remodels. The next reason is, to put it bluntly, people. Contractors not showing up, inspectors picking apart your work, buyers hating your designs, and the list goes on and on and on. The more people that are involved in a project, the more headaches you're going to have. And the last one, although there are plenty others, is the stress that is involved. I'm a super laid back person. I'm very fortunate not to have to deal with a whole lot of stress or anxiety in my life, but a remodel can be stressful. I've dealt with tens of thousands of dollars worth of construction material theft, angry workers, quality control issues, budget overruns, delays in scheduling, being overcharged, and plenty of other problems along the way. And if you handle enough remodels, you too will come across a lot of these issues. And those issues don't just happen to me. They happen to a lot of other investors, including some of the biggest builders in the area who I'm friends with. Now, again, there are some benefits to remodels in certain scenarios. And you're going to get people out there that say this, and they might even comment on this video. There are ways to make it easy. Casey just does not understand. And maybe they're right. Again, it goes back to the fact that my skill set is buying and selling tax-faulted real estate very, very quickly. That's at the very top. The most profitable 
time investment I can make is doing that. It's not remodeling properties. April, I guess much of what I do revolves around my approach to this business that took me a couple of decades to finally realize. It's provided me more income and ultimately more freedom and happiness. Here it is. I want everything to be as profitable as possible based on the time that I've invested into the property with as little as stress as possible. My end goal is to be low input and high output. If I can find my most profitable time investment into a specific skill, I will focus on that all day long because at the end of the day, that is what's gonna make me money. And my skill is buying and selling tax fault real estate. It's not messing with remodels and managing big remodel jobs. If you want to remodel properties, again, go for it. Some people love doing it, and in some situations, it makes sense. But it is not necessarily with the right approach if you don't want to take that path. Hopefully this helps you out. For more information on tax on investing, make sure you check out all the links in today's video description. Hey, take care, folks. Bye-bye.